Several years ago, I met a pastor named Dan on the south side of San Antonio. He told me that one Saturday morning, he and his sons decided to make breakfast for the elderly in his congregation. And when they pulled into their church's parking lot, the headlights of his van caught the glimpse of two little kids in the church's dumpster. It obviously startled the kids, and they tried to get out of the dumpster and run away. But Dan and his sons were able to get to them and calm their fears. After the boys had breakfast tacos, Dan asked them what in the world were they doing in his church's dumpster. They didn't have any food to eat in the house, and they were rummaging through his dumpster just to see if they could find something to eat. After living and working in impoverished communities for the last 20 years, I'm still struck by the pointedness of Jesus' words. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. How can our nation so passively allow for children to live in such extreme circumstances? How can the church? My name is Jeremy Everett, and in my new book, I Was Hungry, I'll weave together stories of tragedy and triumph with research and practical solutions for how we as a nation can address hunger and poverty in our communities. My hope is that you'll walk away with greater understanding about the plight of food insecurity in America. And then rather than blaming the poor for their plight, that that greater understanding will elicit a compassionate response. The calling of the faithful is clear. Feed the hungry and you will live.